Hey, 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 hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this fine tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to connect your Slime VR trackers to VFI Face so that way you can be able to use Slime VR for VTubing, whether it's full body tracking, upper body tracking, or arm only tracking with the finger tracking of your choice. Now, before we get started though, if you are absolutely brand new to VC Face, I will leave in the description below the ultimate guide of VC Face that I'll leave there if you need any help. But also, I will be leaving a tutorial on how you can actually connect your SlimeVR tracker to the SlimeVR PC program if you are a first time user with SlimeVR. But I am going to be assuming that you already know how to connect your SlimeVR trackers to the PC program, so let's go ahead and get ourselves connecting with uh, SlimeVR to VC Face. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the settings at the bottom left right here. Then you're going to go to OSC and then click on VMC right here. You're going to make sure that this little toggle thing here is from disabled to enabled. So make sure this is enabled. Now regarding uh, these other things, you don't have to touch these two. These two are fine. Now the port out, if you are going to be mixing different motion capture devices with VC face, you may want to change the number out. But the default number should be perfectly fine with VC face though. Just remember what the number is though. And then as for the bomb here, if you are going to be using full body tracking, but you are going to be sitting the entire time, I recommend having anchor at hips enabled so that way you're not drifting away while you're sitting down. But if you are going to be moving around quite a lot, you may want to disable this. Now, as for the VR model, this allows just for higher compatibility and allowing a head anchor, so you may want to add a VR model. I put test strand here and it works fine for me, so you could do that. But otherwise, though, uh, pretty much just remember this port number here and let's get started with connecting it to VC Face. So, you're going to go up here into your settings, like so. Go to your general settings right here, and then you're going to scroll all the way down. And then uh, make sure that you do have your face tracking of choice connected, of course. But what you are going to do is you're going to go down and you're going to find OSC VMC receiver. And you'll see that you are T-Pose um, in this case. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change this number to the one I set up to sign VR. So that way my arms are working. Now, if you are having full body tracking, you can leave it as is though. Like if you have full, full, full body tracking... Uh, you can leave it the way it is, but also, um, if needed, you can click on Apply VC Face Setting. Um, especially if you are going to be using things like the little expression toggles and stuff. So make sure, click on this, and then uh, click the ones that you want uh, to like add. So if I were to disable, let's see here, the hands to shoulders, for example, uh, that will allow me to have the Slime VR arm tracking, for instance. And... If, let's say, I wanted to connect the leap motion from VC Face, like the leap motion tracking I have with VC Face, and connect it with Sign VR, then I'll make sure that the track fingers is enabled. But if I have, like, finger tracking from, like, a different source, you could disable that if you like, so your fingers are straight. Um, but, of course, I would recommend for, like, if you have, like, let's say, stretch sense gloves or contact gloves from a different source, I recommend putting that in the secondaries just to avoid conflict with blending issues on the mocap. So, glove tracking can go here if it's from a different VMC source. And then this one can be for your main sign VR by tracking. And, yeah, so it's kind of, like, just depends on what you're doing. Uh, whether it's full body tracking or half body tracking, like what I'm doing where Slime VR is my arms and everything else is just tracking accordingly. So, there's that. But, uh, mess with the settings however you want. Disable the, one, disable the ones that you want uh, coming from Slime VR. Uh, I'll even also have it where the wrist is tracking too. See? So, I can have the wrist working just fine. So, oh, wow, wow. Alright. And yeah, pretty much, you can even add some smoothness as well. So if you want your arms to move faster, you can. But if you want to add some smoothness, then of course you can do that as well. But do keep in mind that the higher the value, um, usually the slower should be. But I uh, don't see too... Okay, I see a little bit. Yeah, so it's not like crazy strong. It's like reasonable. So uh, just adjust it to what you like though. But usually like uh, 0.5 is like pretty fine for most tracking. So... There you go. But yeah. Um, but otherwise, though, that's pretty much at least it in terms of just connecting Slime VR. Just mess with the settings according to how you want it. Uh, and, you know, mix around. Have fun with your tracking solutions. And if you are having issues with uh, 
you know, VC Face or Slime VR, I will be leaving their respective Discord servers in the description below. Deets Discord server for VC Face help, and then the Slime VR Discord server if you're having trouble with your trackers and you know, it's there. I'll even leave the firewall tutorial so you can add VC Face and Slime VR to the firewall. If you are having some connection issues and you were told or advised to add it to the firewall. So the resources are in the description below. So check that out. But hopefully that uh, this will help you out. So wishing the best of luck to your VTuber journey. And take care everyone. Bye bye. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye.